So I'm here with Hunter Cook. He's a member of the Lower Columbia baseball team. And, and Hunter, right off the bat, you guys were champions last year. Um, of course, the goal is always to, to win again. What things are you guys doing as a team to really kind of uh, prepare yourselves to make that run at another championship? I think uh, team chemistry is one of the most important parts. Um, baseball is one of the games where if one guy's doing well and none of the rest are doing well, nothing's going to happen. I mean, you have nine guys who are in the field, and all those nine guys have to be productive at the plate if you want to produce runs and execute. So I think team chemistry is super important. Um, last year we had guys like Muzzy, Strick, Sandy, uh, Sam, Trent, Beacom, who were all about um, you know playing as a team. Um, they were huge leaders for us all, or, uh, or us freshmen last year, and uh, so if we can you know come back and do the same thing as they did last year, I think we should have a good shot. And then, you know, also for you personally, you know, you're always trying to improve things and trying to work on different areas of your game. What things have you been focusing on this off season to get ready for this season? Uh, I've been doing a lot of stretching, flexibility, um, which in turn will make me faster. I think I think I've seen some improvement with speed um, from last year. Um, I'm much more flexible now. Uh, also, arm strength. I've kind of been working on arm strength a lot, and it's improved quite a bit. Um, I've actually been hurt for five months leading up to. A couple weeks ago, so um, that was definitely a big part for me, uh, kind of a setback. But I feel like I've kind of bounced back for that, and uh, I'm producing pretty well right now. So, and then you know, to get to this level, get to the college level, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of time, but it also takes people around you, kind of pushing you and motivating you. So, who in your life's been kind of been that individual or that, that team that's been really kind of uh, making you the best? I think my, I mean, my parents are the base of it, and they're super supportive. They've always been. Um, they're always supportive of what I want to do if I want to play baseball or if I don't want to play baseball. Um, also, my good buddy Drew Barlow, he's been my best friend for a couple years now, so he and I will work together and push each other uh, as hard as we can, so I think those, those are pretty good. And then, uh, you know, also for a lot of players as you're growing up, you'll kind of look at major league players and kind of be like, you know, kind of want to mimic their style or even just their attitude. Right. Is there a player you've looked at and said, you know, I really like the way they approach the game and I kind of want to be the same thing? All right. Um, um, first one that comes to mind is Javi Baez, Javier Baez on the Cubs. Um, he just plays like fearless, fearlessly. Um, he knows what he's doing, and he doesn't have any doubt whatsoever. He's 100% confident in his play and how he plays. Um, that's a, that's the kind of guy that I want to be. And then uh, last question I have for you. You know, here at the ballpark, you always see kids out watching the games and enjoying it. Um, a lot of them dream of playing at the college level or even beyond. What advice would you have for those kids as they try and uh, try and make it to the next level? Keep working hard, um, and even if nothing seems to be going your way, just keep at it. You know, I didn't get an offer right out of high school. Um, I was actually walk on at LC and ended up catching a starting spot and um, doing it again. So um, I just kept working at it. You know, even if someone doesn't see anything, any talent in you, or doesn't believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. So yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.